good morning again, Munir Ajam. Uh, I will continue with this video talking about ethics and professional ethics and project management as a follow-up to the previous video. In the previous video, we discussed the concept in general, and we gave a quality uh, example. In this video, I'm just going to focus on more example. On one of the examples, on a major construction project, the contractor uh, did not have a qualified uh, planners on the project, and they did not, uh, uh, as a result of that, not having professional planner on the team, they basically their schedule on a major construction project was really lousy. Uh, it's basically totally uh, wrong, yeah. And they did not know, did not know how to forecast. So basically, whatever they are reporting on their schedule is faulty. Yeah. Now, what the impact of such a thing? The impact of such a thing. You just imagine yourself. Uh, you're traveling with a compass, uh, using a compass to give you direction, but you have so much magnetic field around you that the compass is bad and they give you a not accurate reading. So instead of uh, going to Timbuktu, you end up being in Beirut. Yeah. Um, obviously, in project management, this situation could mean millions of dollars in losses and delays on a project. Another example, also scheduling related, um, this was in the US. Uh, our contractors, one of the contractors working on a project, they have uh, the engineering, and the, as condition of contract, the engineering and construction contract uh, schedule, the engineering and construction schedule should have been aligned and should have been integrated together. And that was the condition of contract. Uh, what we had discovered uh, later is that they were not integrated and what the contractor was presenting us was a manipulated image and not a real integrated schedule. Unfortunately, by the time we discovered this, the damage has been done. Now, I'm not going to say this is the only reason uh, that resulted to the damage of the project, but definitely this was one of the major issues we've had on this project, being that the project ended up being about nine months behind schedule at a huge loss in operating, in, in operating uh, revenues to the client organization. Uh, millions of dollars. Yeah? So this is a situation where you have a contractor who are manipulating schedule and falsifying information. Yeah? And another situation, uh, another project, uh, a colleague of mine was actually we were developing an estimate for a mega project and he was hiding cost in there. Now of course in this case he was not doing anything for, to benefit himself. Yeah, He felt like uh, the project budget was tight and he wanted to help us by hiding information. He wanted to hide the team uh, succeed by hiding money in the estimate. Now, of course, what he was hiding is less than a fraction of a percent. Uh, but to him, that was uh, enough to, to help. So it's, it's a funny uh, situation uh, because it's not like this guy was incompetent or he was doing this to hide uh, or to, to uh, protect himself or to help himself. It was for the benefit of the team, yeah? But end up being uh, doing this. There are many other uh, situations and examples that could relate to project management. Uh, for example, uh, a project control engineer might be too lazy, yeah? too lazy to, uh, uh, to go out and uh, find out what's going on in the project and collect information uh, and analyze the information in order to come up with accurate forecasting. So they will basically uh, develop forecasts that are probably not accurate which result in people reacting and uh, maybe time loss as a result to try to find out what's going on. Um, and then, of course, giving falsified information. And in this case, they're not lying, but they're not doing enough work to properly do their job. That's, again, related to incompetence or laziness or whatever you call it. Uh, another situation where maybe some construction or project engineer or project manager Approving, uh, of course, they could be approving contracts uh, or approving change order to contracts that are not justified. Well, obviously, in this situation, could be is an issue of corruption, which is uh, uh, remember we talk about ethics being two part: the professional, the typical ethical issues, and the professional ethics. Uh, obviously, this is a professional ethics issue, but is more in relationship to bribes uh, or falsifying information. Uh, so what? What does it mean? What does it mean for us? What does it mean for us in professional project management? If we are going to work, obviously the ultimate saying that goes, uh, our focus must be, must be uh, the organization first, the project first, and not personal gain. Uh, and again, 
we might be put in a situation where we don't have the necessary competence or the necessary training. Be honest about it. Yeah? Challenge your management. Say, look, I would be happy and I'd love to have the challenge, but you need to understand my weaknesses and strengths. And uh, I will do my best to, to build on my strengths, but I have to compensate for my weaknesses. And maybe I need more development or training. And of course, in an honest way, or I need a mentor or a coach. Uh, I know many organizations uh, should be doing this, but some don't. And therefore, it's our responsibility. It's not, don't take the position that, oh, we cannot do anything, we cannot change anything. Push, yeah, try. And uh, what's the worst thing that could happen? Fail? They're not going to give you the information support you need? Well, then, uh, uh, you know, the internet today is a friend. Yeah? It's, uh, in, uh, in my days, we, uh, we have, maybe we have to get books. And to get books, you have to, and you cannot afford to buy them, you have to go to the library. Yeah? And, uh, and if you don't have a car, you probably need to take a bus. So in the old days, old, old days, you know, unfortunately, uh, I don't believe I'm saying this. Uh, information was not available like today. Today, on a click of a button on a phone, on a computer, anywhere, you can get access to a huge database of uh, information out there. Some of it is garbage and some of it is great knowledge. Yeah? So, if worse comes to worse, if my management is not going to support me and mentor me and coach me, uh, I can go to the internet. Maybe find a mentor outside. You know, I've, have, I've done mentoring for people I've never met in my life. Uh, or coaching or guiding, you know. Um, so, from that perspective, find a mentor. You know, if you cannot find them inside, find them outside. Uh, just don't, don't, don't fall into the trap of being unethical or unprofessional or incompetent or, uh, you know, uh, 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 trying to hide the mistake by blaming everybody else, yeah? Uh, you're number one. Uh, focus and get it done. And of course, uh, no violation of ethics, at least that's what we hope. Good day.